Hi, everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. Uh, I, I wanted to talk briefly about something that I read. Now, I, I want to remind everybody, information is merely conjecture unless it's backed up by measurable scientific fact. Now, I'm not talking about paranormal. I'm just talking about regular, you know, science, physics, chemistry, biology, right? We are in a desperate search for information as to who is doing this to us, what are they doing this to us, how are they doing this to us, and why are they doing this, where are they doing this, and what does it all mean, right? Everybody wants to know. We may not ever find that information. Uh, anyway, measurable scientific fact. Something I was reading about pulse code modulation, CDMA modulation, TDMA modulation, 3G, 4G modulation code. These are digital error correcting modulation schemes uh, in order to send data, multiplexed data, from one point to another. Now, excuse me. Um, basically what this means is that there's a bunch of data, a bunch of information, a phone call, somebody talking, blah, 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 blah. And that information has to be encoded from an audio signal coming out of your mouth, from an electrical signal coming from the microphone, and a uh, electromagnetic signal which is being transmitted from the antenna of your cell phone. The uh, cell phone is an always-on device that is constantly transmitting in pulses, burst pulses, talking to the towers. The towers receive the code from the cell phone and speak back to the cell phone saying yes phone number XYZ I know that you know I have you on you're in my tower and as you move across the uh, as you move across the, the, the area it will hand you off from tower to tower based on your location now this information is sent to the phones and over the network uh, as digital binary information and it is multiplexed meaning that many uh, lines of code can be put together sent down the same modulation stream and then picked apart and sent to their appropriate destinations now what is modulation modulation is basically uh, 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 an on-off a method of signaling. Modulation is a signal that is being turned on or off. Uh, amplitude is modulating, means the volume will get higher or lower, or um, maybe the tone is modulating, in which case the, the frequency response will change, like when you play with the tone on your on your uh, audio device or your EQ. Uh, I'm losing track of what I'm saying. Anyway, all this data needs to be passed from place to place, constantly, ubiquitously, because there are more people, okay, more than half of the world's population now owns a cell phone. What that means is that cellular phone antennas and the system that runs them, GSM, CDMA, TDMA, 3G, 4G, etc., is uh, focused covering all populated areas. Has to be. In order to get a phone call, you need to be near a tower. So every populated area is now covered with cell phone towers. And the information being transmitted back and forth to the to cell phones and from the towers is modulated in an encrypted error correcting scheme so that if some of the data bits are lost during the transmission garbled by interference 
the computer can reassemble the proper bitstream knowing the error correction code. It's an algorithmic mathematical code. My, uh, the reason I'm telling you this is because I read this article about encryption code, about modulation code, and it was the belief of the author, I, I don't know who wrote it, and I can't give you much more technical information, I have to re-look it up, but it was the belief of this author that uh, these codes were written uh, in a particular way so that the modulation output, the transmitted output, is a pulsed microwave signal. Uh, I can't tell you, you know, you'd have to look it up exactly which, what, how the bitstream looks and what each bit and byte stands for and how it's sent and the parity bits and all that, but what you end up with is digitally encrypted, encoded information being sent out of a microwave transmitter pulsing electromagnetic waves at a particular frequency, microwave being very small from 1 gigahertz and up. Uh, and it's pulsing these microwaves in this modulation scheme so that the receiver can demodulate the scheme, error correct the bits, and send the data to the proper place. We understand that, right? So the theory is that the data, the information, is one thing. It's traveling through the air electromagnetically. That's one part of this. The modulation scheme is the other part of this. Let's... Uh, Morse code is not, a, it's not really a good example because Morse code, the information, is in the modulation scheme. It's a straight on-off, uh, long-short code. Uh, this is part two of digital modulation code video. Um, the reason I'm saying all this is because um, using these digital modulation uh, encryption schemes, is which they are, the data that is sent is one bit of information. The pulsing of the microwave transmitter that sends the data is yet another bit of information. In other words, the phone calls are going across the system being encrypted and encoded and demodulated and demodulated. The modulation of the signal is written, the, the encryption code, that the modulation scheme is written in such a way that the pulsing of the microwaves turning on and off and on and off to send the signal, the digital error corrected uh, encryption scheme, that this pulsing has a secondary information channel. Uh, am I explaining this right? The data that is traveling over the radio signal needs to be modulated in a way that the receiver can understand. So a scheme is written in order for the data to be transferred from point A to point B and back again and error corrected, okay? Uh, this information is one thing. The scheme or the code of the modulation structure, the pulsing of the on-off, the frequency modulation, the phase modulation, uh, and the uh, amplitude modulation, these three things can be combined. Oh, also frequency shift key modulation. All of these things can be combined uh, in order to make the, the digital stream encrypted data, cold, you know, th this, I'm, my mind is so fogged up now, but I think you get what I'm trying to say. The data, the phone calls, the information, the Wi-Fi data is one thing. The pulsed microwaves that are sending this data in a modulated code to be received and decrypted are yet another bit of information. And the thing that I was reading claims that these codes, these modulation schemes, were written specifically to pulse in patterns that would affect human uh, brainwave and behavior. So what we have is a system that is ubiquitous. It is everywhere there's populated people, you look out the window, you'll see a microwave tower. Here in New York, 
every two blocks there's a microwave tower. One block, they're not supposed to point it at your window. Two blocks, they can. Uh, you know microwaves can travel more than two blocks. But uh, here in New York, that's the way they do it. So we are bathed in this stuff. Uh, and just so you know, there are people making uh, through-the-wall radar. You know, you can make this at home with some parts from Radio Shack that, that works on the Wi-Fi that is already there. You're bathed in 20, 30 Wi-Fi signals here in New York, wherever you go. So there's background radiation that interferometry can pick out as um, data and create, recreate as a picture, structure, and computer can map it. Uh, it, you know, the, the, the ones that I've seen so far haven't been so fantastic, but they can tell you there's a person in the room and where they are. So I imagine that the best tools available to, you know, the people with all the money. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching. God bless you all.